Hello, human-shaped friends. Who'd have thunk it? We're back with another mushroom. <laughs> I know nothing about this mushroom. I don't know its name. I don't know its genus. I don't know if it's poisonous, although given the color, I would assume so. Why do I know nothing about this mushroom? Because I didn't pick this mushroom. I had zero decision making in this mushroom. I could probably reverse image search and see if I could figure something out that way, but I'm okay not knowing anything about it. I asked my partner to pick me a new mushroom because I wanted to. <laughs> and they agreed. And this was the mushroom that they picked. I think it's a nice mushroom. It's got a solid shape. At the end, you'll see it's got these bright, vibrant colors that play off one another really nicely. And it was genuinely nice to not have to worry or research and just enjoy the beauty of nature for nature's beauty's sake. Oddly enough, where we live in a, in early fall, we started seeing all of these mushrooms crop up in the very few grassy areas that were by. And some of them I recognized from the big mushroom series that I did, and some of them I didn't, but all of them I knew I shouldn't touch. And all of them I had to pick up Cordelia and take her away from. She never tried to eat any of the mushrooms, which was good. But she was deeply fascinated by them, and I worried that that fascination would turn into trying to eat them. But what can you do? Other than what I did, which was just scoop her up. Like, I don't know. What, what things do you scoop? Like ice cream. You scoop ice cream. Or, uh, or mashed potatoes. Just, you know, one arm directly underneath the belly, the hand kind of close to the next, just a nice little big, you know, puppy swoop, a big puppy swoop for protection. <laughs> I will say my puppy, who is now definitely better, whole bunch of medication and special diet and whole bunch of other things, and she, she's good. And that's so wonderful. But it has created new problems. Primarily that um, I thought, like genuinely thought that she was high energy before. I was wrong. That was the energy of a sick puppy. Which is still more energy than I, than I have in my little finger. Um, and now... Now she's just chaos. Chaos incarnate. Today alone, she ate two rolls of toilet paper. I don't know how she got them. And she almost ate a book. She pulled a book off my bookshelf and dragged it into the middle of the living room. And I caught her. And I was able to be like, no, and I put it back. But I, I don't. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't. That's okay. I don't I don't necessarily have to understand everything, but oi. Like where did she get the toilet paper? I don't know. Do you know? You probably don't know either. The the bathroom door is closed and we keep all of the toilet paper um either next to the toilet or in the very top shelf of the linen closet. So how does she get two? Is she magic? This isn't the kind of magic puppy I want. I'm just saying. If I had a magic puppy choice, it would be a flying magic puppy. We all know it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked my little mushroom. And I hope you're having a nice day. Hopefully it is full of kind people. And... I don't know. You being kind to yourself? It's usually a good first step. Until we speak again, be good. Bye.